What's up everybody, this is CheeseDad6. Today we are in our survival world. Be on the lookout for a world tour and let's play starting soon. What you see behind me is an automatic farm that has a toggle switch for cooked chicken and eggs. So as you can see, we get both of those and some raw chicken too. And lots of feathers for crafting up arrows if you don't have a skeleton spawner. So let's hop over into the test world and I'll show you how this works and how to build it. So here we are in a test world. You can see we have some other creations over there. Be on the lookout for a video on that one soon. But here is the chicken farm. So this switch right here, as you can see, if it's up, it gives you cooked chicken. And if the lever is down, it gives you eggs. So how does this work? Let's take a look around back. As you can see, we're taking advantage of the new target blocks in 1.16. And this wiring is super compact. It's almost one wide. This torch and piece of redstone dust are the only thing that keeps it from being one wide. Um, but as you can see, we have the holding cell and we have all of this wiring here. If you want to, you can stop and see how, the, how to build it there, or we can continue on. And I will show you right now. So in this chest is everything you will need to build this farm. Two chests, four hoppers, one dispenser, not dropper, two targets, one redstone torch, two redstone dust, some building blocks, it could be solid or glass, either one, a non-flammable slab, a non-flammable trapdoor, the only non-flammable trapdoors are the nether trapdoors and iron trapdoors. So make sure you use one of those for this farm. One comparator, two observers, one sticky piston. Again, you can use glass or the solid blocks. One lava bucket and some chickens. So we're gonna start off by placing down our chest, having a hopper facing downward in the front and having a hopper facing the other hopper in the back with the dispenser on the back hopper. We then add in these target blocks right beside the dispenser and back hopper. And then we place these blocks with a redstone on top of each block and a torch in the back. And we can also place down our lever in the front. Next is the auto dropper. So this is very simple. It's just a comparator feeding into this sticky piston over here. Anytime there's an item in this dispenser, it will power the sticky piston making this observer clock fire and making these items fire out of the dispenser. So it's a comparator facing away from the dispenser, a sticky piston facing up, and then two observers facing each other like this. Finally, we need these two hoppers pointing into the dispenser with chickens on top. Make sure you place a wall too high around here so your chickens can't get out. Then you spawn in chickens, either with chicken spawn eggs or by throwing eggs until you get chicken spawns. Place your slab in front of the dispenser on the bottom side, your lava bucket above the dispenser, and your fireproof trap door above that. Then you enclose everything in the block of your choice, and your farm is complete. All right, so before we end the video, I have just a few more things to talk about about how this farm works. The number of chickens up top will determine how fast and efficient this farm is. If you have a lot of chickens laying eggs, then your eggs will be constantly getting shot out if you have it on the cooked chicken setting. The dispenser automatically shoots the eggs into the slab and the baby chickens can stand on top of it and not get burnt by the lava. As soon as they grow up, which is around 20 in real life minutes, their hitbox will collide with the lava and they will get cooked and get sent into here. On the egg setting, the dispenser is constantly being powered. So the clock over here doesn't actually fire the dispenser since it's already being powered. This means that anytime these chickens lay eggs, it just gets sent down to the chest. So that's my design for a fully automatic cooked chicken slash egg farm. The target blocks make this super compact and I just wanted to share this design with you all because I've been getting use from it in my survival world. I thought maybe you could get some use from it as well. So let me know if you make this design yourself. If you found this video useful, make sure to leave it a like. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more Minecraft inventions, tutorials, and Let's Plays. And I will see you next time.